find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. E3 is upon us, but is it necessary? This week on Boss Battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 146, a show in which the writers of Insert Point to Begin the dot com get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Town. Before before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What'd you achieve? Uh, let's see. I played some uh, Blops, uh, Advanced Warfare, Hearthstone, collected some cats, played some bowling. <laughs> um, I'm up to 300 attempts at Crossy Road. If there's nice. ever an update. They're never going to release an update. Just no, for- they're not. Just, just to piss me off. Just so no. you have so many coins. Right. Uh, so, yeah, that's all I've done. Uh, Sorg, how about you? What did you achieve? Oh, man. One thing, I have been going crazy with uh, uh, WWE Immortals and Mortal Kombat X, and I redownload Injustice because they're wow. basically the same game. So I am going through <laughs> all of them, and I'm, I now have gold characters in Immortals and, uh, and, and, and uh, Mortal Kombat X. Uh, so I kind of shifted some strategies a little bit, and uh, and I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Just got Warrior Princess, whatever, uh, Stephanie McMahon, which is very weird. Um, <laughs> and uh, also, I, I, I thanks to Chachi, I have a PlayStation 2 that works, and I plugged it in the, in the office, and while I was waiting for some stuff to load, I actually booted up uh, Guitar Hero 3, and I'm just playing a song or two whenever I, you know, I have a little bit of a break, and uh, just it's, it's a nice little... Taking it easy thing. And also, as I share with Chachi, I picked up Metal Gear Solid Revengeance because it was five bucks at five below when I happened and to be in there the other day. And it is uh, an amazing game. I, I, yeah, I, for five bucks, it's an amazing game, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a hack and slash. It's a hack mm-hmm. and slash, and I I destroyed a giant Metal Gear in the first five minutes of the game, and it was so epic, and uh, I, I'm i cool. I'm, it's a hack and Hack and slash and slash and slash. Hack and slash and slash and slash and slash and slash and slash. Like when they get to the part where you have to collect like everybody's left hand because there's a data thing in there uh, to to buy things from you know the typical buy things from the doctor thing, and mm-hmm. they like made fun of the whole concept as they're telling it to you was yeah. just perfect, perfect. Yeah. Like I love the tone of this. Uh, I, I forgot how much I love that weird tone in Metal Gear games, and it's not a I have to sneak around, sneak around game. Um, it's something a little different. So I, I, if you have a five below, there's probably a copy there for five bucks. So did did you find the cat that can't die? No, not yet. Yeah, there's a cat that you try to swing at it and it does backflips to get away from. Oh your no, I can't wait. It's to amazing. Play that. It's amazing. Um, and, and I think we have we found somebody. Uh, am I, Riz? Riz, are you there? Where, where Riz am is I? back. He's back. Where am I? You're in the internet. With us. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no. Hi, guys. What What have you achieved in your absence? <laughs> um, I'm looking at all of my games right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bloodborne, MLB 15 The Show, Dragon Age Inquisition, Assassin's Creed Unity, FIFA 15, <laughs> Destiny, Battlefield Hardline, The Last of Us, Move this out of the way. He's, Mario he's Kart 8, list. Hyrule Warriors, and also last week I picked up a game that I'm going to review uh, tomorrow, actually, on Insert Coin to Begin. Uh, Splatoon. Nice. And also, and also a cool little uh, game on Steam. Nintendo's made by uh, adult. Yeah. No, it's not. Don't Don't you dare say it, Bobby. What? What were you going to say about... No, I, say I, about I said uh, Nintendo's the first original uh, IP in, like... Okay, Spotify. okay, all right. But Splatoon okay. we're talking about. Yeah, Splatoon that we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, but also, I did pick up uh, another game. I, I, I love talking about this to everybody. Uh, it, it, it's called Duck Game. It's on Steam. You tried to sell us on it's, this last night in the, in the Google oh, Hangout. Oh, you just have to play this game. It's very addicting. Uh, it, it's made by Adult Swim, so you know how much I love Robot Unicorn Attack. Mm-hmm. 
mm. you're, if you love with it, if you love that game, you're gonna love shooting things with ducks. Save twenty three percent right now. Mm -hmm. Of course it is because I just bought it for full isn't, price. Isn't I'm there an a, idiot. Isn't there a Steam stuff coming off too? <laughs> it'll be there 75 is. percent off before you know it so many hats so many so duck many hats, hats. The, the, uh, the burger that you just saw in there sword mm -hmm. if you quack if you quack that's right there's a button on there that can you can just quack but you can if you quack it will spit ketchup what okay yeah that burger hat yeah i just blew your mind didn't i <laughs> a little bit all right and I achieved this week. Uh, but glad I, to be back, Bobby. Oh, yeah. Thanks, thanks, for, back. Ask, thanks, thanks for saying that. I mean, thanks I for having me back. back. All right, well, I, I achieved. I uh, played Smite for Xbox One. I got the beta for my friend. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, it's basically a, a MOBA that you fight with gods. Um, I've been Thor so far, and I think... I can't remember the other one I was. The, the girl in the tutorial. I can't remember who it is. Um, but yeah, it, it's pretty fun. Uh, and I play. I started Neverwinter on Xbox One, which is a free-to-play game. So that's pretty cool. And of course, the cat game as usual, and Crossy Road and all that stuff. So, all right, Chachi. I was, I was on here for the excitement of cat of the cat collected. Yes. It was oh, my amazing. goodness. That's it's amazing. <laughs> all right, Chachi, you want to send us around the net? Time for video game today! First up, a uh, new Link um, or Legend of Zelda fan film uh, showing how much Link really, really needs a new shield. Um, it hits all of, yeah, it hits all of Link's uh, personality traits and his uh, kleptomania. So check it out. It's extremely well done and kind of funny. Uh, next up, React on YouTube. Uh, made this, teens play Contra. This made me feel so old. And mm. they suck at it. <laughs> um, yeah, they, they, they are horrible at this game. It took them so long to realize that they could go in the water. I think the farthest <laughs> they made, made it was to the first boss. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Most of them died at least twice at the very first <laughs> enemy that appears on the screen. Uh, you don't have to watch the whole thing. Watch, like, the first half, and then you get the gist, and that's exactly how it is for the entire thing. I love all the React channels. The, well, you got to go back and watch the um, Elderly React to uh, – or Elders React to uh, Mortal Kombat 10 fatalities. <laughs> it's amazing. So, that's just what kind of a person I am. <laughs> And last but not least, uh, this one came from Riz himself. Uh, so <laughs> there is a, uh, a a guy on uh, Grand Theft Auto Five online who was able to convince people that there was a ten million dollar glitch. Um, he would uh, go into the public chat and invite them over to his apartment, and then do loot things to them. Um, oh no! In exchange yeah. for. <laughs> Uh, supposedly $10 million in-game money. Um, the two that he shows, the first one... Oh, no. he, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love I love how you just went to that part. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> he invites you over to his apartment for those on audio, and then says, uh, hold on, I have to do the glitch from the closet, and then comes out in nothing but his underwear <laughs> and tells you to lay down on the bed. They, um, that, the bed, you get the money. <laughs> yes. And then... Uh, uh, it makes um, lewd gestures while they're laying on the bed. Um, and the one, the video that I put in that Chris sent me is uh, just under five minutes long. And it's it's the first guy, and then I'm guessing his friends, that he convinced yeah. him to do this. I, 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 when, I, when I first saw it, I had to pause because I was laughing so hard. Yeah, it's, it's quite entertaining. Um, and... And you, you can tell that we're like seven years old. Right. Right. <laughs> um, but that's all I have for you this week in video game theme thing from around the internet. Nah, 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 nah. Right to you, Bobby. All right. Uh, I know we've been hard on Capcom lately. <laughs> um, but yeah. in retro news this week, the Mega Man Legacy Collection will be available digitally this summer on PlayStation 4, 
Windows PC, and Xbox One for fourteen ninety nine. That's not bad. Uh, a digital uh, Nintendo 3DS will release will follow this winter as well. Um, but Digital Eclipse Software, the studio behind the Sega Genesis collection, is developing the Mega Man Legacy collection. Uh, the company is using their new Eclipse engine, which rebuilds the original games from the source elements. So this means the games will be in HD. Oh. For Nintendo. <laughs> like, Nintendo games in HD, which will look the same. <laughs> but they'll be widescreen, so that'll be good. Okay. Um, hopefully the colors will be crisper, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see if it changes anything. Um, but this will have less games than the anniversary collection that was released a few years ago on PS2 and GameCube. Um, but my question to you guys is, who is your favorite robot master? Ooh. Who Ooh. wants to go first? Oh, oh man. Quick man. Quick man? Quick man. That's a good one. Yeah. It, it was, uh, that was always the, the level that got your heart pumping. Mm-hmm. So, Especially yeah. with the lasers. Yeah, yeah. Josh, you got one? Uh, Cut man. Okay. Okay. From the original? Mm. Yep. Riz? Honestly, I, I I I agree with Chachi. He told he took mine. I like Cutman. Cutman a lot better. Exactly. Somebody made a, a a I guess a clone game with Cutman as the hero. I think there was yeah. a there was a DJ or something. Some some, some somebody making music. We met yeah. Baltimore Baltimore Comic Con called Cutman. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he have a big like Cutman head? Yeah, he had a big like Cutman. Yeah. He had the entire outfit. He's a booth right across from us. We did a quick <laughs> interview with him over on on the YouTubes. What 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 what? Yeah, there's yeah. random. There's yeah. random, of Mega course. Ran. Mega, 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 Mega Ran on Twitter. Yep. So, Mega Ran on tri- Twitter. AJ's in the studio, still waiting for his pizza. Yeah, that was that was AJ. He's waiting for pizza. <laughs> <laughs> from Slice Broadway. Uh, we actually interviewed uh, Mega Ran on InsertCoinToBegin.com. Yeah. Oh, that's so, right. That's right, we did. Yeah, we should get him on the show one time <laughs> if we can. Uh, but yeah, my favorite is Top Man. I, I I like Top Man from Mega Man Three. So, all right, even those power kind of wow, sucks. Top Man. Yeah, top I, I like Top Man. Oof. I like wow. Top Man. I, I was a fan of Top Man. All right. That being said, uh, there's some trailers got released last week, which we 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 mentioned that that there were teasers for them. Yes. Uh, the Fallout Four trailer. Which happened to be pretty awesome. Which uh, happened which to happened. include a dog. Yeah, it, it, you have a dog now. You're and you talk, it's, apparently. Uh, Boston, and um, it also appears the game has Ron Perlman as the voice of the main character, which nice. is a change of pace from the previous Fallout games. Mm. Um, we also know that uh, it'll be set in Boston, like I said. It'll be out on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. It will not be available on the 360 or the PS3. Uh, there were a lot of rumors going around. It might be because of how it, it, it like the aesthetic of the game. I don't know why, because it looked beautiful to me. <laughs> so, no, but, they, I don't know. but they show you the good parts in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and and that was just a. I think more will be revealed at Bethesda's press conference at E3. Uh, and I think they're going to show off more of the game, and I think people are going to be wild even more. Mm-hmm. So. Um, there was also another trailer that got released, uh, Battleborn from Gearbox, uh, which, as you know, is the Borderlands studio. Mm-hmm. Um, it features the, the game features 25 characters in a mobile-like arena first-person shooter-style game. Uh, so just like Gearbox did with uh, Borderlands, it's going to do it again by combining two different game genres. Uh, Battleborn's multiplayer co- player component will fit 10 fighters against each other in a 5-on-5 match. Uh, they designed three modes, Incursion, uh, teams of heroes will defend their base from waves of AI-controlled minions uh, while working together alongside their own minions to destroy their opponent's base. Devastation, uh, teams of heroes will face off in a fast-paced deathmatch and must capture and hold objectives on the map to win. And Meltdown, teams of heroes protect their minions as they march to their death at the center of the map. (laughs) Uh, Points are scored to the minions who throw themselves into the incinerator, and the team with the most points wins. Uh, while in multiplayer the st- and story mode, players will be able to level up their characters with a MOBA-style influenced helix system. All experience players earn go into ranking system divided by between two components, uh, character rank and command rank. Um, that being said, all these trailers are being re- released, and you know there's going to be a ton of trailers from E3. What has been your favorite game trailer so far, and has the game lived up to the hype from the trailer? 
you guys remember any great trailers from the past that you, oh. that you were to think of? You know, isn't that a kind of a, a heavy question? Because like that experience of that first seeing that game, kind mm -hmm. of, especially if that's something that you did pick up when it came out. Yeah. If it got got you going that much, um, uh, it, it, it's to me the experience will kind of gel together. You know, because mm -hmm. you 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 wipe out that experience of when you first saw it, when you've played through the thing and know the rest of the story, right? I I, I can think of two. Okay. That lived up to the hype, and one that did not live up to the hype. Uh, the two that that lived up to the hype, uh, Skyrim, mm -hmm. definitely lived up to the hype, and um, Bioshock Infinite definitely lived up to the hype. The Certainly. one that did not that did not live up to the hype was Dead Island. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that was everybody remembers that trailer. Oh it was yeah! So great. And then the game came out, and it was just crap. <laughs> But they get credit. They get creative credit for that trailer, though. Oh, that trailer was amazing. Yeah. So, anybody else have any? Uh, I got one. Okay. Uh, it, the, the trailer for Bloodborne made me want to get a PlayStation Four. Mm. Okay. And, I remember you were, you were hyped about that before it was. And I still play it, <laughs> even though I suck at it. <laughs> Gotta love games but, like that. Um, just just pointing it out there. I am very. I was very excited to see it come out, and I jumped on jumped on the fact that I'm going to get a PlayStation Four, and I did, and I don't regret a damn thing. Okay. Uh, Chachi, you have anyone? Uh, you have any Assassin's Creed Three or Assassin's Creed Four? Okay. Um, uh, four because of fucking pirates. Yeah. Or three because of America. America. So. Yeah, America. Hashtag America. Uh, so, yeah, those are... Uh, Watch Dogs was up there, too. It was pretty mm -hmm. good. Oh, yeah, that was uh, a good trailer. But, I, I, I mean, I don't really pay attention to trailers. Mm -hmm. um, because, it, like, yeah, I may like the trailer when they show it, but if I don't like the game, then I'm going to forget the trailer. And if I love the game, then I'm going to forget the trailer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True. Um, so, I mean, it... it Good or bad, I'm going to forget the trailer. Because all I'm going to remember is the game. Right. So. I still have, like, trailers in my head, though. Like, the music they use. Mm -hmm. Like, I know Borderlands was another one. that The music from the trailer and stuff. Maybe actually about commercial. Like, um, every time yeah. I hear um, um, uh, Mad World, mm -hmm. which was also in Donnie Darko, yeah. from the Gears, Gears of, War of War 2, yep. maybe. Um, mm -hmm. it, it came on Pandora or or something uh, over or Google Music or something over the weekend, and, and I think back to that commercial because it was a uh, it, it, you know it's a slow slow piano music, mm -hmm. and 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 he drops in this hole, he's shooting stuff, he drops in the hole, and it's him with those giant giant creatures, mm -hmm. and and and. That was a hell of a commercial. It was a hell of a commercial. <laughs> and I really want to play Gears of War now. <laughs> you know, just thinking about that. But it connects that. You know, um, mm -hmm. I know I've been in the in the in the. Uh, uh, you mentioned the music. I've been picking up um, um, songs that I like from the WWE pay per views lately. <laughs> yeah, like I'm just like I kind of like that one. Uh, Ninety nine cents. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm completely just saying like, why don't I? You know, uh, being there a buck a piece. So. Why not? Add it to your WWE playlist. <laughs> Add, yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, so, and, and, right. and, and then, you know, three months later, when you're not sick of that WrestleMania song anymore, yeah. it's great to go back to it and it pops up randomly. Never, I will never get sick of Flow Rider. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> Anybody ever? Yeah, yeah, said nobody ever. All right. Moving on to more E3 news. Mm -hmm. uh, EA has confirmed the next Mirror's Edge game is titled Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Uh, the game will be shown at E3 during EA's press conference. Uh, in a letter to Game Informer from producer, producer Sarah Jansen, uh, she stated, uh, the team has spent a lot of time reevaluating every aspect of the game and making it a new experience. Uh, she goes on to say, this is not a sequel, this is not Mirror's Edge 2. We have landed on a vision that honors the first game, pushing the boundaries of the first person movement and diving deeper into the story behind our her heroine faith. Uh, but also brings a lot of great new, interesting gameplay and features to the experience for, for our players. Uh, any thoughts on Mirror's Edge? Are you guys excited for it? Did you guys play the first one? I, I played the entirety of the iPad version. 
So, <laughs> no, I enjoyed it. And I, I did play a little bit of the original, and it's something different. Um, so, I mean, it's that first-person thing, that parkour thing. And, and come mm-hmm. on, parkour. Sorry, Riz, I stepped on you a bit. No, no. I, I was just going to say, I didn't play it. Uh, I'm afraid of heights. I don't really want to play it, because I have all these other games I want to play. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. But it's a sequel. Don't don't say it's not a sequel when it's a sequel. It's called Mirror's Edge. It's a spiritual successor. It's a it's sequel. Spiritual. Just say sequel. Spiritual successor. Whatever. <laughs> like, Mass Effect, Mass Effect 4 is going to be Mass Effect 4 no matter what they call it. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> But it's not going to be a sequel because it's a different continuity. Continuity. Well, Anyways. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right. Chachi, any thoughts on uh, uh, Mirror's Edge? I got nothing. Nothing? <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. I mean, it, it, was, it was a very like niche game. So. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. It is. Uh, All right. And breaking news. The Last Guardian... <laughs> may be still alive and well. Oh, no. Uh, According to The Guardian's list of most anticipated games of E3 list, uh, the outlet claims on a very good authority, it has on a very good authority, that this will be the year that Team Ico finally presents its follow-up to the much-loved classic, or classics Ico and Shadows of of, of the Colossus, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, Um, they bring back Shadows of the Colossus for the, for a new system? Um, but uh, The Last Guardian was originally announced as a PS3 exclusive back in 2009, and it has since disappeared. <laughs> so th- if, if they announce it, this might be this might be what gets me on the PS4 train. <laughs> I don't know. Eventually, aboard. eventually, eventually, Choo-choo. eventually. Um, but do you think do you guys think we'll finally see this game at E3 again, or is it ne- uh, never going to come out? <laughs> never say never. It's a beautiful game. I always love the look of those games. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, and they're, uh, they're a very creative studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they're they're ones that've been on my list to pick up for a while. So mm-hmm. Shadows Shadow of the Colossus is like one of the greatest games ever made. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I will. Double that. Well, I seem to have come into possession of a copy of it. Thanks, John. Yep. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, there you go. so I might have to dive into that between my Guitar, o- Guitar Hero 3 sessions in the, in the office. So. <laughs> that's that's a little more in-depth in, uh, of a game than Guitar Hero 3. Oh, so not, that's not something I can do while I'm... <laughs> well, it's something, yeah, it's something you can do, like... Burning DVDs. I guess you can do one of the bosses in between each thing. You know, you can play... You can probably play Shadow of the Colossus with your uh, guitar <laughs> hero controllers. <laughs> Technolo- technology has improved. Is that a challenge? Yes. Oh, man. I think you should. I think you should. That's the right. new... new uh... I mean, some, if, if somebody can beat Dark Souls with it, yeah. mm-hmm. you can obviously beat Shadows of Colossus <laughs> with it. Uh, I own Shadow Colossus for PS2 and PS3. Oh, wow. So that oh, tells wow. you right there. Yeah. There you go. It. There you go. All right. Uh, speaking of, uh, has AJ gotten his pizza from Slice on Broadway? Yes, he is gone. He is gone. Oh, and he's gone. He has, oh. See, he stuck he around. There was pizza. free pizza here when he got here. He ate some and decided he's going to order some and take it back because he doesn't live in this neighborhood anymore. That's how badass it is. SliceOnBroadway.com. Uh, go check them out. They got a location right here in Beachview in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, uh, right along the tra- train tracks. And you can also pick it up in Carnegie, PA, if you can shoo around that, con- that, that construction over there. Uh, great stuff from scratch supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with a great pepperoni pizza. We thank them so much for the past year of pizza support. We can measure the weight of how many pizzas they have sent us in support of the show. Alliteration. Yeah, that was, a, that was a <laughs> alliteration sort. Eh? Yeah. Been working on that. Bobby? All right. Our final bo- battle question this week. Riz wrote an article on our site, insertcointobegin.com. Did he? About, about I did. The, yes, I thought he about just makes the videos these days. <laughs> about the relevance of E3. Do you want Do you want to take the floor? Um, yeah, and I want to preface by saying this. Okay. I love E3. Okay. We 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 love E3. It's it's what <laughs> we it's why we're doing you know shows like this. It's it, it's to have topics of hey this game's coming out. This looks pretty cool. Or this game's coming out. It's pretty cool. But the way I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this is, we know most of the games 
that are being announced. Most of them. I'm sure there's Most going to be a few them. surprises. But, but even with this, uh, with technology and the, 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 everybody having a voice, we all know that somebody out there knows what's going on, and they report it either for IGN or GameSpot or Joystick or whatever Joystick other... Joystick doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> yes, it does. It does? Yeah. I don't think it, it does. I think they shut down. Um, but it, anyways, uh, the, the point is everybody's going to know it before it actually happens. And and I'm just sitting here, I'm going, is E3 really that important now? Because before we had three three press conferences. We had we had Microsoft, we had Sony, and we had Nintendo. Joystick's still here. Joystick is still here. I guess. Oh my it's part, god! It's part of Engadget. Uh, it's part of Engadget. Yeah, Engadget. Now. Uh, but we had new source. Sorry. We, we had three. We just had three, and then we had four when EA decided to go. Oh, we're EA. We're going to come in here and take all your shit. And then, and then now, we have Bethesda. We have mm-hmm. all the three, all the three main ones. We have Square Enix. We have. Uh, I'm blanking on another another one here. Ubisoft. Uh, yeah, Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Has one. We have Ubisoft. We have six. Hopefully, so, we won't get banned from that. <laughs> oh <again>. man! <laughs> By the way, that came up on the uh, thing on yeah. my. Uh, but anyways, we had we have six now, which means the the big companies aren't going to get the scoop, like the, the their games on there now because now. If EA if EA comes first, Sony I believe Sony's after EA. If I'm if I'm blanking on this, but I think EA's right, right before Sony. They can announce Mass Effect before PlayStation announces Mass Effect. Mm-hmm. And then I think Bethesda's first Bethesda's overall. First. I think they're the night before. Yeah, I know Bethesda's the first one, but I was saying in context, like if one too. if one's if one software company is ahead of the other. Of, of a hardware company, they have the right to go up and just steal their exclusive away, which draws away from you know the console wars, as we like to call it. And that's what E3 was before. It was look at what Microsoft is doing, look what Sony is doing, and look what Nintendo did. Um, but I, I, I again, I preface this so much. I'm going to watch the hell out of E3 <laughs> when it comes around, and I'm just – we already have the Fallout one. We already know that Nintendo is going to have some sort of Star Fox mm-hmm. or Mario game or – Remember, Zelda. last year, Miyamoto was playing Star Fox in the yeah. background. Yeah, a yeah, little, little Easter egg with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, 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 I don't know if it's that relevant anymore, like – like it was back in when G4 was still a thing. I think what's happening partially is because it's something that's been around for so long. I, I think we just kind of talked about this issue between basic sorgonomics this morning as well as uh, the majority of awesome cast uh, this evening. But, uh, you know, WWDC has been so around so long. We've been blown away how many times. And I think maybe uh, there's there's two things. There's that effect of what more can you do to to make me excited for video games, right, That, that than you've done over the last 15 years of the, of this process, and also uh, you're seeing again when you're mentioning the pre-releases. This is a, another phenomenon that's happening around CES, for instance. Everybody's trying to one up each other. So when everybody shows up in where is it Las Vegas, wherever E3 is, San Diego. Uh, it's, 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 wait, where? no, no, wait, no. Wherever, I think it's in wherever. LA, isn't it? Uh, is it LA? I, I know. I know. CES is Las Vegas, but mm. but everybody showing up in wherever it is, Las Vegas, wherever, and, and putting their press release out and having a big thing on the floor has not found to be profitable. How many how many big companies have pulled out over the years of both of those? Because they're mm. really both trade shows for their respective parts of the uh, the technology industry. So now they're playing, trying to one up and pre release the release and and get you excited about that. And maybe there will be something at the keynote itself that with it but, but in the meantime hey we showed you this fallout thing here's another fallout thing you know or they'll um, play it live and really surprise you right i think i think it's just kind of waned and it's matured as an industry and as as a conference and as a focal point and, and people are fine trying to just everybody's trying to hack the system so their thing gets the most buzz 
And this oh, and is I a product of that. PCs also having one too. That that I'm very interested in. That's <laughs> what that's the only one I'm really interested. I, I'm really I curious think, to see what that is because it's 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 Nvidia and and another company or two, right? I, you know what I think it's going to be oh, mainly. Huh? Steam. Uh, I, I think it's mainly going to be Oculus. It should be. Steam. There was there was kind of a leak of Oculus and, today, mm. and they have they have announced that Humble Bundle is going to be a part of the place. Uh, there the, you go. PC one. It's going to be uh, reminding everybody, hey, there's a PC over here, and this is why you should be here instead of consoles. And 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 I think there's a lot of really good reasons to do that. And 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 it'll be nice to have somebody supporting that, you know, or sh or the the Nvidia Shield or something like that, right? There's a lot of options out there. I bet um, you Steam machines will be a part of that too. That could be. That could be. Mm -hmm. but, so. I, I and, and another thing, a lot of stuff's getting leaked mm -hmm. online before. The E three E three happens, so in that way E three is not as as like you know it, it, stuff's gonna come out anyways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it just gives them something to celebrate. Chach, you look like you're about to burst or something. What, you want to say something? No, I'm good. Okay. okay. I was working on something else. I was waiting you guys to discuss this. Oh. Because <laughs> um, it really doesn't matter. Okay. It, it, it's not one of those things that needs to happen anymore. With the internet, E3 is outdated. Exactly. Um, WWDC is outdated. All of these things are outdated, mm -hmm. but you know what? We're still going to watch them. We're yeah, we're going to go. It's, it's fun, it's fun to get time. together as gamers. Yeah. And, and celebrate. But isn't it interesting? So we're used to, like, we used to have G4 and Spike TV or whatever, and they have the, 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 the streams. Twitch is going to stream this the entire time. We can sit there and put it on the background through the rest of the rest of that but don't we already have so many streaming gaming events mm -hmm. live <laughs> events competitions you what twitch kind of changed that it's not just the oh, this is the week where i get to just turn on a tv or turn on a stream and watch video game content all week we can do that anytime now it's kind of like what killed saturday morning cartoons right i it's killed our that reason to come around and do this you know i i, I mean that's how I feel about tech things in general. Everybody waits till January to announce it, and it's like, well, now they don't. Now they spread it throughout the year. There'll be, a, you know, how many times on there we're saying, oh, there's going to be a, a announcement by Microsoft in two weeks. There's going to be one by by Sony in a month. You know, <laughs> Samsung's doing one uh, tomorrow. And, and, and Nintendo has their direct. Was yeah. it? What's all that? The time. Nintendo has their direct right. thing. All everybody's the time. everybody's taking it in house, so they know mm -hmm. on that day they have didn't, no competition, and all eyes are on them. Didn't uh, PlayStation or didn't Sony like maybe two three weeks after E3? I think it was either E3 or Comic Con or San Diego Comic Con or one of the two one of the big ones. They even went and did their own thing in like a hangar to show off the PlayStation Four, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and we watched the hell out of that too. Uh, and so everybody's trying to get away from there so they can be in the spotlight, like you said, Sword. Which the what the hell? Um, oh, was that coming uh, across? Sorry about that. I, I don't. I don't. I, I have no idea what just happened. Um, yeah. But lay on the bed if you want some money. <laughs> <laughs> Take off your mask if you want some money. Take it off. Uh, but no. It, it's just it, it, like everybody's saying. It, it is kind of outdated dated now, but we're mm. still gonna watch. Like I've I've kept on saying, we're gonna watch it. I'm just concerned that E3 is not going to be you know as heralded as we always thought it would be and always had been because of all the leaks. And also, the, they're they're letting regular fans in this year, which is awesome for the first time. Yeah, I I'd, I'd, I'd love to go to. E3, mm -hmm. but too much. Money. I'm in Pittsburgh. Um, I'm gonna have to lay on a bed and get money from a money. Man. <laughs> lay on man. You bet if you want the E3s. Uh, well, we were talking about all this technology and stuff like that. You know what I was doing while I was getting the podcast ready today? Oh, I don't, I, do I, I want to know? What's I was watching. I was watching Thomas Middleditch from Silicon Valley <laughs> on Twitch play a new game on Steam that has dinosaurs in it. And I was watching. I've the heard Nerdist, about that. I was watching the Nerdist stream playing uh, Elder Scrolls Online from my laptop while while Middle Ditches was it? Th thing was going on on my Xbox. <laughs> I had two Twitch streams up at the same time. By the way, uh, so, go, yeah. 
By the way, speaking of Twitch, go to Riz IUP on Twitch and watch me play video games. And, 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 and a <coughs> reminder, <coughs> while, while, while this may not matter too much, us mm-hmm. as much anymore, because with Twitch and everything like that, this is still a trade show. This is yeah. still where they do other business that we don't see. Yeah. Uh, that has exactly. nothing to do with the press, has nothing to do with anything else. So uh, as far as that, yes, they do need this. But they've mm-hmm. grown this entire wider thing. It's just like uh, Apple had a developers conference this week, and but they're still announcing things that are exciting to us, the users of the product. They they bring they've greened this whole press thing around something that was something else. So that's why. I think that's about it. All right, all right, and that's going to do it for us this week. You can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can visit us on InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily, and you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Special thanks to Mike Allen at Mike Allen PR for uh, helping us with the notes and the tweets all night. At Sorgatron, you have any plugs? Uh, go check out all the things, sorgatronmedia.com. Sign up for things. Uh, so many shows coming out right now. Sawtooth hey, Willie. Oh. Go to Sawtooth <laughs> Willie. Well, watch Sawtooth Willie talk about Jackie Cincinnati, the Cincinnati Spider-Man. <laughs> all right. At Chachi says, you have any plugs? Uh, I would tune in to ChargyPlayers.com tomorrow at around noon. What? Ooh, that's what? a tease. And welcome back to the one, the only, at the E Riz. Mm-hmm. Do you have any plugs? Oh, I do have plugs. Uh, as you can see right there for your video listeners, uh, you can follow me also at, at RizPlaysGames on the, on the Twitters and on the YouTubes. Uh, I do, I, I do you streams on probably probably four or five you streams that for that for for that site uh for a while uh also if you want non-video game stuff go to the res the extra e is for excited because i'm back all right and i'm at bobby of jtown uh you can follow me on there there on twitter and uh just game. that's that's it game over guys <laughs> This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.